I'm Maya Thames, and you're watching another edition of 180 or Less. Many people have asked the question, what is an HBCU? Many don't know what this acronym means, how these things came to be, and the deeply rooted significance weighing on not only black culture, but black American history. It all started in the city of Philadelphia, way back in 1837. Richard Franklin Humphreys came to, from the British Virgin Islands as a silversmith Quaker. After race riots in Philly, he extended his brotherly love by dedicating one-tenth of his estate to establish the Institute of Colored Youth. Today, we, well, most of us, know it as Cheney University of Pennsylvania. HBCUs were created to give the black community a chance to excel in life, a chance to be educated, to educate others, a chance for black Americans to reach their full potential, to make a difference for the better. This is the history that literally puts the H in HBCUs. Historically black college or university. That's it, that's the acronym people. There are 101 HBCUs in the United States as of 2019, short of the original 121 HBCUs that existed during the 1930s. HBCUs only account for 3% of the country's colleges and universities, but check this out. Overall, 20% of African American undergraduate students are enrolled at an HBCU and 40% of black college students are awarded their bachelorette degrees by HBCUs. It's so important that everyone is introduced to the long lasting HBCU movement. Whether you're black, white, yellow, purple or green, learn about HBCUs, teach about HBCUs. Lastly, acceptance. There's no secret that there's this hateful divide attempted between HBCUs and PWIs, predominantly white institutions. Students from HBCUs are just as smart, driven, and successful as PWI students, in some cases even more. But honestly, it's not the school, it's the individual to determine these attributes from. Do not discredit an HBCU education. These days, companies are going straight to HBCU students and grads to accomplish professional diversity within their workplace. Accept and embrace every HBCU. A degree is a degree no matter where it be. And so there it is. I know that may be a lot to digest. Feel free to fast forward, rewind, etc. I hope you enjoyed this segment of 180 or Less. For more of the scoop on HBCUs, check out the HBCU segment on CTV's latest episode of The Basement. Remember to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube.